Hey everybody, welcome back. This is episode number 18 of Let's Play Pokemon Red. I did take some time, now that we've caught a Tauros, to uh, train him up and to train up some of our other Pokemon as well. So they're all now levels 34 through 37, and that should be about right for the quest we are about to undertake. This is also actually the first time we've had the, uh, the full team with us, so that's kind of cool. But we are going to head west, back to Saffron City, this time entering from the other side and uh, see what's going on in the largest city in Kanto. Well, actually, I guess Celadon might be the largest city, but one of the largest cities. Hi, thanks for the cool drinks. Yeah, you're very welcome, I guess. Trainer tips. Full heal cures all ailments like sleep and burns. It costs a bit more, but it's more convenient. Very true, especially because item slots in this game are so hard to come by. Snore. Huh? He's taking a snooze. Ah, oh, this is the famous Sylph Company office building. They, of course, make the Sylph Scope, among other things. Being evil makes me feel so alive, does it now? Trainer tips. New Great Ball offers improved capture rates. We've been using Great Balls for quite a while now, so not really that new. And I think we read that sign before. Is this the, uh, what's up here? Oh, this is Copycat's house. I remember that. These houses have like half brick and half aluminum siding, I guess? That's what that's supposed to mean? I've never really been a fan of houses that are half each. Like, either make a brick house or just make an aluminum siding house. But where you have like the fake brick veneer at the front, it just makes it look fake and tacky. In my opinion, at least. What's this? Saffron City, shining golden land of commerce. And up here, of course, is the gym. Two gyms, in fact. The fighting dojo, and then the real Saffron Gym. Saffron City Pokemon Gym, Leader Sabrina, the master of psychic Pokemon. And we'll do both of these at some point, but we can't uh, fight the gym yet, because there is a Team Rocket member in the way. I think the Pokemart's over here. Yeah, there's the Pokemart. Probably should invest in some full heals, but I'm also trying to save up our money for some other stuff. The Pokemon Center's down here. We already saw Mr. Psychic. So that's about all there is to see in Saffron City. But um, as I'm sure you've noticed, there are Team Rocket members everywhere. They've pretty much taken over the entire town. And uh, it doesn't seem like we can enter too many of these buildings, with the exception of the Fighting Dojo and... Of course, self headquarters. So while this guard is taking a snooze, we are going to take a peek inside and uh, see what's going on. All right, let's put a C up first. And I hear some evil music playing. Good old self company music. It's hard to forget this tune. They have some nice little fountains in the front here. It's pretty cool. And there's an elevator. There's some nice potted plants. Not much to see or do in the lobby though. So, it turns out, as we're about to discover, Team Rocket has actually taken over Silk Company Headquarters. Hey kid, what are you doing here? And this is a big building. Like, I don't think they've made a dungeon, for lack of a better word, this big in any game since. Maybe Victory Road in uh, Pokemon X. That was, that was fairly large, but still, this place is... This place is huge. It's like 11 stories, all of which you can actually access. Ah, uh, Super Sonic reviews. And it's a bit of a big puzzle, too. There are none of those spinny tiles anymore, but um, there are warp tiles, which teleport you between them. Um, there are, of course, the stairs and an elevator as well. So that makes this a bit of a tricky place to traverse. Alright, he's got a Zubat. Hopefully we're not confused too much longer. And we are fighting poison types, which is good, because, of course, Psychic is good against poison types. Much better than having, like, Raditas and Raticates. Seems like Rockets in this game tend to use Zubat, Golbat, Radita, and Raticate more than any other Pokémon. Sometimes you'll see other poison types, like Ekans and Arbok. Oh, there's Raticate. Um, you'll see Coughing and Wheezing, maybe even Grimer and Muck. But, uh, these are kind of their big four. Well, one-hit KO, not bad. And I guess we'll see as we go through the building what other Pokémon they give to Rockets, because 
There are going to be quite a few trainers here. And I'm going to try to face as many of them as possible, just because this is a great source of experience as we move into the final third or so of the game. I see a scientist. Seems like he also works for Team Rocket. It's off limits here. Go home. I don't know if he's like a silk company member that joined Team Rocket or one of their scientists they brought with them. Or if he was a spy. But yeah, they tend to have Magnemites and Magnetons and maybe Porygon as well. Um, so I do have a bit of an advantage here, but not as big of an, adv of an advantage. Luckily, Magnemite in this game is not Steel-type. So Psychic will be evenly effective against it. And because CA is part Grass-type, she will resist electric moves. Let's use the Egg Bomb for a change of pace here. I always thought Magnemite looked transparent in this generation. I think it's just supposed to be shiny, but it definitely makes it look like it's see-through. Voltorb, of course, is very fast, but the Screech attack missed. Not quite enough to one-hit KO it. Probably should have just used uh, two Egg Bombs instead. I'm just always worried about them missing. And a Magneton. Very cool. Now, they don't look transparent. They look shiny. So they did a little better with the uh, Magneton sprite than the Magnemite one, in my opinion. Looks like power points. Oh, a crit. Very nice. Will be our uh, biggest challenge here. So I might have to run back and heal our Pokemon a few times. Although, I think... In fact, I'm pretty sure there's actually one of the Sylph workers here who will heal your Pokemon for you. I don't quite remember where she is, so we'll have to take a look. You're good. Well, you're not so bad yourself, at least for a rocket. So there's one of those warp tiles. Let's try it, just to see where it goes. Another scientist, apparently. You're causing us problems. Technically, you guys are the one causing problems, because you shut down the entire town and took over this giant company. Alright, but this guy is a Grimer. So that's better, because... I'm pretty positive we can defeat the Grimer in one hit. Yep, and there we go. Come on, Muck. Nope, Electrode. Alright, well, let's use Psychic. See how much it does against Electrode. A decent amount. Probably not enough for a single Egg Bomb to finish it off, though. Ah, oh, close. Close, but no cigar. Oh, self-destruct, really? Had a sliver of health left. That's gonna hurt. Yep. Oh well, no XP from that. That really sucks. Huh? I lost? You did, because you self-destructed. Alright, so we can't go through this gate, because we need the key card. That's right. The card key. So our goals are going to be, in the short term, trying to find... The person that heals your Pokemon, as well as the card key. And then once you find those two, you can make your way... I think it's that girl over there that heals your Pokemon. I just don't know how to get to her. What floor are we on now? Is this still floor two? Yeah, this is already floor two. We were just here. I see another rocket down there. Let's face him real quick. No kids are allowed in here. So I'm pretty sure that once you um, defeat this zone... All the rockets are going to leave. Cubone. Interesting. I think you can catch Cubone up in um, Rock Tunnel, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe in Pokemon Tower, but I'm not sure if that's correct or not. I did teach Ron Body Slam using the, uh, the TM we were saving. He was the Pokemon I wanted it for because his Body Slam is a really good stab normal type attack. Like I said before, it's one of my favorite abilities in uh, Gen 1. Has good base power and that nice 30% chance to paralyze. Alright, so nobody else down here. What's over here? Another gate we can't open. Two gates we can't open. Alright, so let's look for that card key. Guess uh, we can't go too much further here. I seem to remember like something about the third floor and maybe like one of the like the ninth floor or something being special. 
but I think that's because you have to go to those floors to uh, get to one of these teleporters, and that takes you to the place you want to go. Hmm, this looks like it might be promising. Let's see. I see a scientist. Let's face him while we're here. A lot of scientists in this building. And another Voltorb. Alright, Ron, you are up. Let's give it a body slam. Toros luckily has a uh, very high attack stat. And also an even higher speed stat. Decent defenses, too. Uh, Leer. What do we have right now? I guess we can probably forget... Actually, Leer and Tail Whip both lower defense, don't they? So... We don't really need both. They're pretty much identical attacks. I'm going to body slam this coughing because I don't want to get poisoned, but it didn't actually finish it, so... Luckily, he only used Tackle. And I would have tackled him back, but I'm always worried about Tackle missing. So I figured I'd just use uh, Stomp instead, just to be sure. Thundershock, please don't paralyze me. Good. Pretty sure I Stomp will finish it, yep. Good job, Ron. You hammered me! Pretty soon we'll be able to use uh, Viri and Palgen. It's been a long time since I've really used them in battles, so... Looking forward to that. Alright, so this just takes us back in a big loop. Although I don't know what floor we're actually on at the moment. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Oh, I forgot about those guys. Actually, didn't I go on one of those warp panels? I think I did. I think I need to go back to that warp panel. And that might be where the card key is. I really hope so. It'd be much easier if I can find the card key early on. Instead of having to backtrack and redo half of these floors. Alright, that's it for Golbat. The Drowsy. Let's body slam the Drowsy. We have nine body slams left. And a Hypno. So at this point in the game, the Rockets actually have some pretty good Pokemon. This is kind of the last time you really face Team Rocket in this game. So, it makes sense this is the uh, the hardest Rocket challenge yet. And we'll use a Stomp to finish him. Alright, very nice. Rock brothers, I lost! Let's go ahead and use a Fresh Water to heal up Ron a bit, just because, uh... Whoops, wrong Pokemon. I'm not sure how long it'll be until we find the person who uh, automatically heals our Pokémon. But let's go back to that warp panel, because I feel like we were onto something. I think it was this one over here, yep. I think if you go back here and then go south, you have to face this guy. Is he one of the brothers? No, he's not. kind of thought he was. One Pokémon, an Arba. Pretty cool. Let's use Body Slam. And once again, our typical Body Slam Stomp combo should do the trick. I always prefer to use Body Slam first because uh, of that Paralysis chance I keep mentioning. Rocket has been defeated. Boom! Could this be it? The card key! Yep, I thought so. Alright, that's awesome. I knew I remembered it being back in one of these uh, corridors. Show Team Rocket a little respect. Get no respect. And we are going to have to walk all the way back around, but that's okay. Got himself a hip now. It's okay, we got ourselves a Tauros. Hmm, this is pretty tough. I'm going to try to stomp it. A little worried it might not be enough. Alright, critical hit. Very nice. And since uh, crits are based on speed in this game, and Tauros is a very fast Pokémon, hopefully he'll be getting a lot of crits. So we do have to uh, go back the way we came. And let's walk back on that thing again. Alright. Well, while we're here, let's use our card key. 
found an item and a teleportation panel. TM09. What is TM09? It is takedown. Decent ability, but uh, not what I'm going to teach to any of our Pokemon. I don't know where we are now. It's very easy to get lost here. Who is this guy? One of the workers? I work for Sylph. What should I do? Bingo. The card key opened the door. There's a work panel there. Let me see where this goes. Oh, this goes okay. We gotta remember this one, because this is where we need to go to uh, advance the main plot line. Before we do that, I do want to heal our Pokémon, and I want to defeat some more of these trainers for experience and money as well. Let's defeat this guy first, and then I'll take this warp panel. See where it goes. I support Team Rocket more than I support Sylph. So he must be a uh, Sylph Company employee, who uh, also is a supporter of Team Rocket. Not sure why you'd want to support Team Rocket. It's not like they really have much of a cause. Like, um... I can see supporting, like, Team Plasma. At least they seem to have, like, a uh, agenda. And a Weezing. Now, Weezing has very good defense, so... Alright, even two Body Slams would not have defeated it. Luckily, we got a crit, and it's paralyzed. Not fully paralyzed, though. Don't get poisoned. Okay, good. And one Stomp should finish off Weezing. Another crit. Like I said, lots of crits. You really got me. Right, let's try this teleportation pad, or this warp panel. Haven't fought this guy yet. Your Pokémon seem to adore you, kid. Not sure how we can tell, especially when they're inside their Pokéballs, but... Okay. Drowsy. Level 28. So their Pokémon aren't really too high of levels. But at this point in the game, when you're in, like, Fuchsia City and Saffron City, kind of all the trainers are more or less the same levels. All kind of in the, uh... I was gonna say in the 30s, but obviously these ones are even a little bit lower. They are just Rocket Grunts, though. Alright, 37. So let's, uh, let's try a Stomp here. Might be enough. He is only level 28. Oh, not quite. No but no cigar. Critical hit. All right, good job, Ron. Definitely a powerful Pokemon. Took forever to catch him, as I'm sure you guys saw, but in the end, I think it's worth it. Let's switch out to uh, Adon, who's our next lowest. Well, actually, you know what? Let's bring, uh, whoops. Let's bring Sin out next. Because Sin knows Dig, and that will be good against a lot of these rockets. Or maybe it's, oh, it might be her. Because there's all these beds down here. Maybe this is where I'm thinking of. Yep, it is. Okay, cool. Don't give up. Thank oh, yep, I know. Thank you. This must be like their, uh, their nap room when their employees are hard at work. So I should definitely remember which floor this is. Because we'll have to come back here pretty often. Oh, I guess we beat that guy already. See, I'm already disoriented. Um, I don't. I guess you can go in the elevator and it'll tell you what floor you're on, I hope. Um, it does not. Okay. Well, whatever floor this is, this is where we want to go. I see a scientist. This is when we beep before. Okay, so this is the teleportation panel that went down to floor three. So, I think we already took that one, if I'm not mistaken. Already disoriented here. Have we fought this guy yet? We have not fought this guy yet. We study Pokeball technology on this floor. That's right, some company also makes Pokeballs. Not sure if they're the only ones, but they're definitely one of the largest manufacturers. Have a pretty good R&D department too, I hear. And of course, because we're healed, we have all of our psychic attacks back. We may need them. This Magneton is not a high level, but it is an evolved Pokemon. Whereas our Execute, of course, is unevolved. And uh, for both Sia and Sin, Execute and Growlithe, I want to make sure they learn all their good moves before I use a Leaf Stone and a Fire Stone to evolve them. Because once they evolve, 
they don't learn any further attacks. And especially in these games where it's it's hard to get good TMs, and even the ones that are good you can only use once. You really want to make sure that your Pokémon know the moves you want them to know before you evolve them. And one more Magnemite. For such a, uh, a low selection of Pokémon, they actually do have a pretty decent variety. We've seen a lot of electric types, poison types, a couple normal types, even a uh, fighting type last time. Ah, oh, it's a miss. I noticed too, in interestingly enough, in the Safari Zone that um, when you encounter a Pokémon, for whatever reason, Execute takes a little longer to load, just a hair longer, than other Pokémon. At first I thought I was imagining it, but there were times where I would like feel it like stutter, and I'd be like, oh, this is an Execute, and sure enough, it almost every single time if not every single time, was. So it must just be like a slightly more complex or slightly larger sprite, maybe. At some point we may have to, um... We may have to head down to the Pokémon Center just to use the PC there. And, uh, empty our inventory. It's a Pokémon report. Four Pokémon evolve only when traded by Link Cable. Yep, that is Graveler to Golem. Um, Kadabra to Alakazam, Haunter to Gengar, and Machoke to Machamp. So I'm glad we didn't use any of those Pokémon on our team, because I'm not really sure how trading works. Speaking of Kadabra... And now we have a Psychic type, so that's kind of a, an interesting mix of Pokémon so far. Kadabra, of course, is very fast, but not very effective against a fellow Psychic type. It does have pretty weak defenses. Not quite a one-shot, but definitely a lot of damage. Another Egg Bomb. Good job. And Mr. Mime. Don't think we've seen one of those before. Uh, Mr. Mime are really kind of creepy looking. Oh, Barrier. That's not good. That makes its defense go way up, which is going to make our Egg Bomb not do a lot of damage to it. Yeah. Um, let's stun it, because this could be a long battle. I might want to actually switch Pokemon. Just to speed things up a bit. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's bring out Ron again. Although, if I forgot to use Barrier, so actually that might not be a good choice, but oh well. Probably should have brought out, brought out like a Blastoise or a Dragonair. And Light Screen, so that uh, increases its defense against special attacks. Makes them all do half damage. Level 37, they're all catching up, and Sia is trying to learn Poison Powder. Um, I don't know. Should I learn Poison Powder? I'm going to say no. I kind of like Stun Spore. So let's keep Stun Spore. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. It's a Pokemon report. Pokemon Lab created Porygon, the first virtual reality Pokemon. And you can get one of those from the uh, Game Corner if you have a lot of coins. Over 160 Pokemon techniques have been confirmed. That's right, all the moves. I think there's 161 including Struggle. Something like that. When I started reading that, I thought it was going to say 160 Pokemon have been confirmed. But uh, that's not true, not yet. Only 150 confirmed ones in this game. Alright, so this is floor 3, right? I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Alright, this is number 2. Let's see what Pokemon he has. Got him a chop, that's good, because fighting like poison is weak to psychic attacks. Very nice. Maybe. Oh, I was hoping for Machoke. Good, I was right. Gotta give it to Team Rocket. You always think of them as having like, lots of poison Pokemon, like most evil teams do, but they actually have a decent diversity. Especially if you include their um, their scientists and their other out of uniform members. Oh dear, oh dear, help me please. Look at him, he's such a coward. <laughs> the rockets came and took over the building. Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. They must have targeted Sylph for our Pokemon products. And I think this guy is also one of the Rocket Brothers? Nope, guess not. I'm really bad at guessing who those guys are. 
All right, three Pokemon, starting with a Zubat. All right, see ya, let's use a Psychic. We probably will switch up our Pokemon soon and start using a... Uh, maybe Sin or Adden. Another Zubat. I'm guessing two Zubats and a Goldbat. Let's see if I'm right. Like I was saying before, their Pokemon are a fairly low level. Hey, I was right. But uh, there's some pretty tough fights, or at least high level fights, at the end of this. So I'm pretty excited for those. Alright, that's the end of Goldbat, and also the end of my Psychic Power Points. So uh, let's go ahead and switch Execute out for... let's bring out Sin for a little while. And we can use our card key to get some items in here. HP up. Can definitely use that or sell that for lots of money. X accuracy, a little less useful. Another scientist here. That rotten president. He shouldn't have sent me to the Tixie branch. Not sure where Tixie is. It'd be really cool though if they did like name a city Tixie in another game and had like a self company branch there. Like a throwback all the way to uh, the Kanto region. Uh, I'm not going to use Reflect. Because a lot of these guys have either electric attacks or uh, attacks like Sonic Boom that do a set amount of damage. The nice thing here is they use all poison and uh, electric types. So that's really good for Sin, who knows Dig. Because obviously Poison and Electric are both weak to ground attacks. So are uh, Rock types and Fire types. Making ground a pretty good attacking type. Magneton. Oh, and Steel. Even though Steel does not exist in this generation. This could be a, a clean Growlithe sweep here. So far, so good. And a Magnemite. Thundershock. All right, one more. Let's say Electrode. Coughing. Well, should be another easy kill then. Some more good experience. All right, good job, Sin. Shoot. Hey, watch your language. All right, have we been through this portal yet? We probably don't actually need to go through these portals because I expect that um. You can eventually get to all these areas, or at least most of these areas, not all the areas, but most, just by going through the doors. Hey, there's an Electrode. Now, Electrode's probably going to be faster, especially because it's level 33. Yep. So it did get off a pretty good hit there. Would have been great if it self-destructed after I was underground. Critical hit, very nice. Don't know if we needed that crit or not, but I'm glad that we got it. And let's go around here first. See what's through door number one. Another warp panel. Like I said, this place is tricky. It's just an employee here. Wah, I'm scared. Don't be scared. Jeez, okay, so this is a different floor. I guess we'll grab these items while we're here. Wow, lots of items. Not sure how much space we have. Escape rope at least will stack with some of our other items. And I'm thinking there's a hidden one back here. Oh, there's a guy hiding back here. Good hiding spot. Shh! Can't you see I'm hiding? That's right. I remember there being something back there. I thought it was an item, but apparently it's a, a dude. Alright, I think we missed... Yeah, we have to go up here still. And I know there's places I'm not checking, but hopefully we at least get the vast majority of these areas. And we came through this way, right? But I don't think we would got down here, or did we? Yeah, I don't even know anymore, I'm so confused. Well, I think we're right back here now. Enough of your silly games. What silly games? You mean Pokemon? It's not a silly game, it's a fun game. Alright, another Magnemite. I'll probably only do a few more of these battles, and a little bit more exploring, and then I'll, um... Depending on how many more floors there are and how much we've explored so far, I might just keep training off screen and then come back for the uh, the final couple battles. Let's 
I don't mind this being a little bit of a long episode. I kind of figured it would be, being Silk Company, but I don't want it to be like an hour long or anything like that. Then again, we are making quick work of these rockets, so... Not sure how many are left. This guy is left. We haven't faced him yet. Welcome to the 10th floor. So good of you to join me. 10th floor? I don't know how I got here. We're not really going in any, uh, any good order. One Pokemon. It's Machoke. Too bad we don't have Sia out. Um, let's use... I guess we'll use Dig. It's still our best move. This could be a bit of a tough fight, though. Oh, another crit. Definitely is going to help us. And Low Kick has a much smaller crit chance than Karate Chop does. So it didn't hurt nearly as much. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Level 38. Our first level 38 Pokemon. Congrats, Sin. Good puppy. I'm stunned. No more room for items. Alright. So yeah, at some point I'm going to have to uh, empty out my inventory and come back here to get the rest. Oh, this is the room with the... Uh... Or no, this is not the room. Is it? Is that the same girl? Yeah, it is the same girl. Okay. So I think we've been through all these panels before. This place is so confusing. Alright, let's uh, go up to the 11th floor to see what's up there. And then we'll head back down. There's the president and his secretary. They seem to be trapped in that room. Can't see who's trapping them there. But we'll have to find a way there to rescue them. Five Pokemon. This guy is uh, quite the collector, it seems. Right, I do want to save my dig attacks. Whoop, well, never mind, I'm out of dig attacks. I guess bite it is then. Alright, still a 1 hit KO. That Rattata was only level 25, so 13 levels lower. I'm going to say this guy has four Rattata and a Raticate. That's my guess. We'll see if I'm right. Zubat, nope, already wrong. Still a weak Pokemon though, so easy enough to defeat. And another little rat. Down he goes. And Ekans to finish things off. Decent assembly of Pokemon there. Alright, that is the end of Rocket. And since we're out of digs and uh, Sin is low on health, we're going to switch out to Adam. You could definitely use another heal up soon. What does this guy say? Anything else about the boss? Watch your step. My boss likes his Pokemon tough. Don't we all? all right, that's all we can do on this floor. At least uh, from this direction. I think we've explored most of floor 10. How about floor 9? How much exploring have we done here? Don't think we faced this guy yet. Nope, apparently I'm wrong. Alright, um... How about down here? Is this the uh, healing place? It is, sweet. Definitely want to heal. Quick nap. <laughs> We're taking over the building and somehow we feel safe enough to take a quick nap. I'm pretty sure we faced this guy, because I think we came this way. Yeah, we definitely faced this guy. But I honestly have no idea what floor this is. We haven't faced him, okay. Quit messing with us, kid. And we at least have two of the other Rocket Brothers left. Gotta eradicate this time. Good old Thunderbolt. And let's follow that up with the Surf Attack. Good job, Dragonair. And a Hypno, another evolved Pokemon. This guy seems like he's uh, not too bad for a random Team Rocket member. Wow, that didn't do a lot of damage at all. Uh, let's try Swift. Hypno probably has a lower defense stat. In fact, I think I remember that from Koga's Gym. 
hypnosis. So I'm really glad that missed. That would have been really annoying. Having to wait off those turns of sleep. Level 37. Awesome. And back to Thunderbolt for Eradicate. I give up. Well, you don't have much choice there, because I defeated you, so you kind of have to give up. In fact, you really can only give up before you get defeated by somebody. Can't really give up afterwards. A random war panel down this hallway. But we've been here before. This is floor 10 again, I think. I know there are at least a couple areas of the building we have not yet explored. I think we fought this guy, yeah. Let's go down a couple floors just to mix things up. I'll do one or two more battles, and then I'll fast forward. Oh, we faced that guy too, didn't we? Yeah, that lady over there. We haven't uh, seen her yet. We haven't been in this room, apparently. There's a warp panel, another... Uh, Silk Company guy. I wonder if Silph is finished. Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh, this takes us right outside here. We already beat that guy. That can't be everybody. Nope. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. That's right, there's definitely one more brother left after this guy. So we'll look around and see if he's nearby. Weezing. Interesting. All right, Adam. Let's use Thunderbolt. Oh, critical hit, but still not quite a kill. And a Golbat. That's good because Thunderbolt will be super effective against Golbat. Oh, still not a one-hit KO. That's kind of surprising. Huh, I would have been sure that was a, uh, a one-hit knockout. Alright, luckily we did not hurt ourselves in confusion. And that is the end of Golbat, and a coughing. Alright, come on, Adam, there you go. Perfect. Small, going on, don't get poisoned, don't get poisoned. Okay, no poison, good. See, like, right there, there's no, uh, there's no rain going by. Just the water spouts at the end. Minor graphical glitch. All things considered, not too bad. Oh, brother. Alright, so I'm going to take a quick look around. I don't think we can heal in these beds. Nope. Alright, so I'm not really sure where the fourth brother is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty out my inventory. Grab a... Oh, is this him? Nope. Just some other random rocket. So uh, I guess after this battle, I'll show this last one. I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center, empty my inventory, clear out the rest of the building, heal up our Pokemon again, and uh, then I'll come back when it's time for the final fight. But first, we will face this one last Rocket Grunt. I really think we've probably defeated maybe 80% of the Rockets in this building, and scientists. Can't be too many left, maybe even more than that. I definitely remember there being quite a few, but... Then again, we've also defeated quite a few, so... There's that. And when we come back, I'll also make sure we use uh, Pal and Viri again, since... They deserve some screen time. They've been sitting on the bench for quite a while now, waiting for the rest of our team to catch up. But now that we're all roughly on par... I think it'll be good to use them again. Level 38. And one more little Rattata getting in his last quick attack. Alright. Well, that is it for that rocket grunt. Not enough grit. Alright guys, so I'm going to go do what I said I was going to do, and I will see you back here in a couple minutes. Alright, we are back, and one of those items that I came back to get was TM26, which is actually one of my favorite TMs in the entire game. It teaches Earthquake, and yes, we are going to go ahead and teach that to Viv, our Nido, sorry, Viri, our Nido Queen, who, uh, of course, as a ground-type Pokemon, will get the same type attack bonus 
from Earthquake. So yes, definitely going to replace... Uh, let's replace Poison Sting. It's a pretty weak move that we don't really use anymore. Unfortunately, there really aren't any uh, good poison attacks in this generation. At least none that uh, Nido Queen or Nido King can learn. Uh, so yeah, we're back here on floor 3. I did heal up our Pokemon. And I think actually this platform over here leads to the healing spot, that warp tile. But we are going to take this warp tile. And let's uh, let's put Pal up front to get him some more XP. As you can see, there's there were actually a couple more fights that we did miss. So I'm glad I went back and did that final sweep. Oh, and before we do that, well, after we do that, I guess. What kept you, Kant? Look who it is. Long time no see. Haha. <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I just decided to see if you got better. Alright, let's see. And it has been a while since we faced our rival. So he has gotten a lot better too, as you can already tell. His Pidgeotto is now a Pidgeot. I do like how he doesn't decide to like help anybody. He's not here to defeat Team Rocket, he's just here to uh, face us. Luckily, Pal knows Ice Beam, which is super effective against flying types like Pidgeot. Did a decent amount of damage. Sand attack is going to be annoying. But we hit there. So that's one of his five Pokemon down. And he may have five, but we have six. Gyarados. Interesting pick. Uh, let's go with Mega Kick. Oh, and it missed. But so did Gyarados' Leer attack. Critical hit, and it still didn't do that much damage. Gyarados is definitely a tough Pokemon. And uh, because Gyarados' special stat is actually pretty good in this generation, this is the one gen where you actually could teach it good water attacks like Surf and Hydro Pump, special water type attacks, and do well with it. We could use Ice Beam here too, because uh, it would be evenly effective. Bad against water, good against flying. Gyarados is water flying, but. Mega Kick has a higher base power, so it'll do more damage. Yep, there we go. Level 38, very nice. And Dragon Rage, the move Gyarados used, is the only Dragon type attack in this generation. And um, it only does 40 points of damage no matter what. It's kind of like a Sonic Boom, but obviously better. And due to Sand Attack, our Surf missed. I'm pretty sure he still has that Execute, or no, he doesn't have Execute, he has uh, his starter. So I'm really surprised he didn't send out his starter earlier, but we'll see. Alakazam. Can't forget about Alakazam. Now, Mega Kick would have been really good against Alakazam, because Alakazam has low defense. But unfortunately, we have already used all five Mega Kicks, so let's go with Surf. Alakazam is also very fast. I don't know if this one knows Psychic yet. But apparently Psybeam was a good choice there, because we are now confused. Good job, pal. Let's see how much this does. Yeah, Alakazam has a really good special stat. Which, in this generation, means it has good special attack and special defense. And it knows Recover. So really the trick to beating Alakazam is going to be using strong physical attacks. So we might need to bring out uh, Nidoqueen or Tauros. Preferably Tauros, since Nidoqueen is weak to... Psychic type attacks. Alright, good job, pal. You did defeat three of his Pokemon. So let's bring out Ron next. And we're going to use a Body Slam there. Let's see, one hit KO. Much better than uh, attacking it with a special type attack like Surf. Alright, and there is Venusaur. His starter Pokemon is now fully evolved and level 40. Not too shabby. Our rival's team is really starting to come together. Alright, we got some Paralyze there. That's good, but we have been Leech Seated, which is not too good. And there is Leech Seed sapping our health away. Alright, critical hit, not too bad. And that's the end of Joe. Oh-ho, so you are ready for Boss Rocket. Well, Kant, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Kant, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it, smell ya. Alright, have fun storming the castle. Now this guy, you definitely want to talk to this Sylph employee here. Oh hi, you're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. 
And that's how you get Lapras. I am not going to give a nickname to Lapras. There's no more room, so Lapras was sent to Pokemon Box 1. It's Lapras. It's very intelligent. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you will be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer. It'll give you a lift. Definitely a very powerful Pokemon, and a, a good point in the game to get it, because this is the point where you really start needing Surf to progress the main storyline. Um, but we are not going to train Lapras, because we already have our team, and I think it's a pretty good one. Now, they are hurt a little bit, but they're not too bad off. So let's bring out, let's bring out Viri. And, uh, we'll head upstairs and face Boss Rocket, also known as Giovanni. Oh, guess we have one more random grunt fight first. Stop right there, don't you move. And that's right, in uh, Pokemon Yellow, a lot of these guys you face right before the boss are actually uh, Jesse and James, and not just random rockets. Which is a nice touch. Alright, we're facing the Cubone. So let's move around our moves just a little bit here. I'm going to put Earthquake at the start. And then, I guess we leave Surf there. And Surf is super effective against Cubone. So let's go with that. I feel like our Nighter Queen actually has a really good moveset at this point. Earthquake and Rock Slide have really good coverage. Surf is a good uh, move that's super effective against other Pokemon, like those ground types. Um, and Body Slam is a, uh, a nice, powerful, normal type attack. Alright, Earthquake is a 100 base power move, just like Dig. Also ground type. And so Viri will get stabbed from it. Marowak. First Marowak we've seen in this tower. And I think the first one we've seen besides that one, um, that ghost one over in Pokemon Tower. Good job, Viri. Don't, please. Alright, you guys ready for Boss Rocket? And I think this might actually be a fairly easy match. Because Nido Queen, uh, like I said, has some pretty good moves. Ah, Kant, so we meet again. The President and I are discovering or discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters, or experience a world of pain. Alright, bring it, Giovanni. Let's see what you got. I still like his, like, janitor suit there. <laughs> Giovanni wants to fight. It's a Nidorino, but we have a Nido Queen. And, of course, being Poison-type, Nidorino is weak to the ground-type Earthquake. Should be a one-hit knockout. Yep, nice and easy. And there's his Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan will not be weak to Earthquake, um, but let's go with it anyway, because it is my most powerful attack. Kangaskhan has decent defenses, so this probably won't be a one-hit knockout. Not quite. The Comet Punch won't do much damage to Viri, either. Hit three times. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything to worry about here. Decent amount of XP, and that's right, Rhyhorn. He got rid of his Onyx, but he does have a Rhyhorn. Let's use Surf, just because Surf is doubly super effective, since Rhyhorn is rock and ground, whereas Earthquake would have only been regular super effective. Plus, Rhyhorn has a lot lower special stat than defense stat. And look what his best Pokemon is. He has a Nido Queen as well. Alright, but uh, both Earthquake and Surf are super effective, so let's go with Earthquake. Not quite a one-hit knockout. Nido Queen does have good defenses, as we well know. And Body Slam, but we did not get paralyzed, which means we are going to win this match. Like I predicted, a pretty clean sweep. He has some pretty good Pokemon. High levels too, but uh, still no match for our team. Level 39. Good job. Ugh, I lost again? Yes, you did. Blast it all. You ruined our plans for Sylph. But Team Rocket will never fall. Can't. Never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. I'm sure you shall. Alright, time to talk to the, uh, the boss over here. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We admire your courage. We can't go around this side of the table. It's weird to have a giant statue in the middle of a table like that. Can't really see the person across from you. Oh, thank you for saving Sylph. 
I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. Kant got a master ball. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype master ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it, though. Yeah, I wouldn't want Team Rocket trying to steal it, would we? But alright guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. I thought it was a pretty fun one. We have successfully saved Silk Company from the clutches of Team Rocket. We've also faced our rival once again. But uh, still a lot of exciting stuff coming up. So when we come back, I think we'll probably face the Fighting Dojo, as well as the Saffron City Psychic-type Pokemon Gym. I'll see you guys then.